Howdy folks, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all doing okay. So I want to tell you one about the, the dealership back when I worked in the service center. Um, there was this woman that would bring this car and it was a 95 Mustang GT Coupe, GT Convertible Premium. So it had every option available on the Mustang the year it was made. Uh, leather, a little bit nicer of a stereo, CD player, and that was kind of about it back then. Uh, the big upgrade was getting the leather seats and it was a convertible. But this one was a very interesting customer. I guess she was in her early to mid 50s at the time. And the interesting thing about this woman is she owned every vehicle she had ever bought and drove them. The more interesting thing about this woman is every car that she bought was very similar in the way that she spec'd them out. She had a first generation in the US uh, Mazda RX-7 Coupe manual. She still had that tucked away in the garage under a tarp. I only know this because I we ran a shuttle service and a couple times she had to be dropped off. She had a 95, which was the last year of the 5 liter Mustang GT convertible premium stick. And then uh, a year or two prior to this, she had just gone out and bought herself a brand new C6 Corvette with a stick. All the cars were the same. And that was her daily driver was the Mustang. The only thing she had done to it is she had put a little bit louder of an exhaust on it, not real loud. The craziest part about this car, it was her go-to car in most situations. She didn't enjoy the Corvette, but the crazy part about it is this Mustang, at the time, now this was what, eight, nine years ago? had 327,000 miles on it and she took care of it she really did she brought it in she did spark plugs she did brakes she did wires she'd do all the oil changes she'd do everything this car required and it was on the road it was original engine transmission i think she had to do a clutch in it a while back it had to have a top put on it at the time, right before I left the dealership, she was getting estimates at local body shops to actually get the front end, the whole car resprayed the factory color due to rock chips. Had the leather redone in it recently. It was a very sharp, original car that had a boatload of miles on it, but getting in and driving it, you'd never know because of how she kept this thing up. It was wild to see a car with that many miles on it and be driven. And the only one that she didn't drive real often was her her 7. I think it needed some engine work. I'm not positive on that. But uh, anyone that knows about rotary engines, the early generations were designed to burn a certain amount of oil to lubricate the apex seals. And she didn't like driving it because she had gotten used to the old check intervals of normal combust piston combustion engines and didn't want to accidentally hurt her little rotary. <clears throat> that might have been the case too. Yeah, one of the stranger service customers we ever had. Thanks for tuning in guys. Catch you next time.